One thing that really truly changed my life over 10 years ago was understanding gratitude. So at that time, I really was struggling. I didn't have a relationship. My family relationship wasn't working out. I was broke. Everything wasn't going well for me. And when I started to dabble into the world of personal development, I realized that there was one thing that everyone was encouraging me to do. All the successful people like Oprah, Tony Robbins, etc., said to do was to be grateful. And at the time, I was like, how the hell could I be grateful when my life is just so crap? I could not even think of anything. But because my life was so crap, I really had no other choice but to try something new. And so I started to listen to them and started following through, uh, you know, just daily gratitude, writing three things I'm grateful for. And during that time, it was just very, very basic. It's like, because I didn't have anything major to be thankful for. So I was just thankful that I had a, you know, obviously big things is I have my son, that I'm still alive, that I'm healthy, etc. But over time, every single day that I was practicing gratitude, my life started to change. I started to be more happier. I started to become more focused into achieving the dreams that I wanted, the goals that I wanted. And so I realized that why was I not taught about this way earlier? Why was my family not practicing gratitude? Why was that this not taught in school? And so in this video, I wanna share with you how I am practicing gratitude with my kids. How do I actually teach them gratitude in a way that doesn't feel like it's a chore, that it's just part of life? And I wanna show you what we do on an annual basis and on a daily basis. What are you grateful for this year, Jordan? Going to a farmhouse. Oh, yes. And well, seeing some horses. Yes. And seeing um, um, and some, the horse right there. Uh, and some horses are right there. And well, I saw. Is there cows? Horses. No, just. Yes, there is. There's cows there. Oh, yeah. Cows? Yes. And I'm grateful for I got these hey, toys. Hey, that's what okay, Monica's turn. And I'll go around in circles later. Your turn. Family. I'm grateful. For that, um, and then thank you for my friends. Yes. And my house. House. Okay, so I started tra practicing gratitude with my family probably about three, four years ago. And surprisingly, my husband also doesn't understand it and just find it very, very hard to focus on gratitude. And so at first we've tried to actually put um, a little note on, into a box and basically we write down what we're grateful for. But basically it was going well for a little bit until it just felt like it's a chore, like you gotta physically write something. And so one person that dropped off from the whole experiment was my husband. Now the next thing I try to do that was more, uh, that I thought might be easier is before we go to sleep, me and my kids would actually um, just you know ask each other, what was the best part about your day today? Now, at first, my son, who was maybe five at the time, a bit younger than now, he didn't embrace it. He couldn't understand it. And plus, he wanted to be rebellious. And he was going, my, the best part was that, you know, someone annoyed me. And he was just trying to be really like, this is a joke. I don't really care about it. I'm just going to say bad things. And I will, actually, I wasn't even sure if he knows between bad and good. And so he basically was just not doing gratitude properly. Whereas my daughter, because she was a little bit older, a few years older, and she's a girl, she was a lot more um, you know, cooperative and basically shared what was the best part about your day. So instead of saying, what are you grateful for? We just use the words that are more easier to use and understand and also something to think about. So what is the best part about your day today? So something, it means that it's defining what happened today that you, are, that you really enjoyed. And so they are able to think of something. But when you're thinking, sometimes when you're saying, what are you grateful for? It doesn't give a definition or a, a boundary. So you're just thinking like, when, what, how, you know, so it's just a little bit broad. So do experiment how I've done it in a sense where you ask them the question instead of what are you grateful for? It's what was your best part about today? And so we did that for a while. And um, eventually now I can promise, uh, I can share and say that my kids really love it. And my, my son over time started to evolve. He started to change. He started to know what he's supposed to share and he started sharing the good things. So he shares about his friends, he shares about um, you know being able to sleep next to me and just whatever he feels that has happened during the day. And basically I could not believe that over time he actually shifted his mindset into something, to someone positive. 
So now that it's a routine of where we're asking ourselves, what, are you, what uh, was your best part? I started to now introduce the word, what are you grateful for? And so they really understand that kind of means the same. What are you grateful for? And so nowadays I would just talk about what are you grateful for today? Or we can interchange between what was your best part? But then we're upping that game now to asking also, what would you like to pray for? So it's really always about adding a little bit of a, uh, you know, improving of the habit. So the habit was just being grateful for. Now it's like, what can you add on with that same routine? So while we're lying there, we're asking an extra question, which is, what would you like to pray for? Who would you like to pray for? And this allows our kids to actually think about who do they want to um, help? Or if something's going wrong with someone or themselves or something, and they want to pray to God for something um, to happen. And so being a Christian myself, I want to introduce them to, um, the Christian life without being forceful, without forcing them to go to church, but it's about everyday practice of prayers and knowing that you don't have to always have the answer, that you can pray to God for something. And so that's our daily practice that we're doing now. And I must say that even when I'm so tired and I'm trying to also test them to see if they forget about this routine, they don't. So before we go to bed, we would, you know, kind of talk a little bit and close it out and they're like, Mommy, you forgot to say something. I'm like, what? You forgot to ask us, what are we grateful for? And so it's just so good to now have them, you know, uh, basically it's part of their life that it's not a it's not a chore. It's just something that they do. And so what I'm really hoping out of this is that as a daily practice of immediately in the first thing in the uh, at the end of the night and before they go to bed, they're really grateful for. We haven't actually tried to do the morning one yet because morning we're quite rushed. We wake up and there's things to do. So we're doing it at night. So find something that works for you. And I think at night is really great too because you kind of get to reflect of everything that's happened during the day and you get to sleep on a really good note. Um, and so overall, they now really, it's just part of them. They don't even think about it and they want to do it all the time without me forcing them to do. Now, the reason why that I want to teach them about gratitude is the fact that I know that at the end of the day, there's going to be challenges in life. You know, there's always going to be, you know, God and the universe will always throw a curveball at you and to teach you to to help you build your character. But it's being able to use the tools like mindset to actually shift the way you see things to be able to go, you know what, no matter what is going on, I can see the positivity in life. And if it's if you're thinking positive, then you can think of solutions and then you can think of solutions and motivation to actually solve problems. So it's really about equipping them with the right attitude, and the right mindset so that they can really tackle life. Now, as I mentioned that my husband is not part of the daily uh, gratitude routine and I don't want to feel like I'm forcing him and he just doesn't get it and he feels like he doesn't have time to really talk about it. And over a time, he just felt like I'm just saying the same thing. But even though I said it doesn't matter, say the same thing, just say what you're grateful for. He's just not ready and he's not really thinking deep. And sometimes I'm like, just think about something small, like the weather's good or whatever's good, but he's just refusing to. Now, what we're doing with him is we don't expect him to do it on a daily basis, but we do expect him to do it on an annual basis. For the last, I can't remember many years now, four or five years, I started to adopt the American Thanksgiving Day. So on Thanksgiving Day, where Americans are celebrating that and Australians don't, I'm actually using that opportunity to actually teach my family and getting together and practicing gratitude. So what we've been doing is we've been going out for dinner and even though it's my idea and I'm the one that's initiating, I don't mind because I just am, I'm here to set a good example and teach him something. And so I would actually organize a small gift for each person. And so we're using it almost like, like Christmas in November. And basically we, after we eat, we open presents. I buy one for myself and one for each of our family members. And they get to open up the presents after we list down about, I, I would say, you know, a hundred things that we're grateful for, like a few pages of things we're grateful for. So we would go around in circles and each person shares what are they grateful for and we'll take turn and we'll try to fill out as much of the pages as possible. Um, can't remember the number, but maybe it's just two or three pages that we feel like we want to fill out. And of course, it started off with some resistance. It's like, this is weird. I don't want to open the presents in front of the, the restaurant and in front of people. Then, you know, what are they thinking? What are we doing? We're doing something odd. But I really just said, don't worry about what people say. Just enjoy the moment. Also, th them thinking that they just have to give one or two gratitude things that they're grateful for. And I keep going around and around circles and pushing that. And now the second, third year, it became easier and easier and easier. And so now this is our annual gratitude 
Thanksgiving day that I really want to encourage everyone to try it out. So if you're not doing daily practice yet, start with an annual and just make it a fun thing for your family because trust me, it's really changed my life. Thanks. Being thankful has shifted my mindset, has helped me to attract you know, amazing things because if you're not grateful, why would God give you more things? It's like a spoiled child. If you're not grateful, then you don't deserve more. And the best gift we can give to our kids is teaching them gratitude and being thankful. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching Start Young and I'll see you again in the next episode.